Today we have many new items to discuss regarding the brand's present and the brand's future. But before discussing the product, I would like to take the advantage of this occasion to briefly describe the brand's market progress. In 2010, we repeated our 2009 sales, despite the fact that the Giulietta was only on the market for six months. And since August and December, we have constantly improved our performance compared to the same months of the previous year, growing from plus 2% in August up to plus 40% in December. And once again this year, we immediately started out bucking market trends. With more than 12,200 registrations in January, we increased our sales volumes by around 40% compared to the same months a year ago, when sales were still supported by incentives and the bank law from 2009. Our share has significantly increased by 0.3% and is stable at around 1.1% right now in the Western European market. This positive trend runs across all markets, all major markets. Growing markets such as France and Germany where we saw respective increases of 41% and 67% as well as those markets in decline such as Italy, where Afro Romeo recorded a plus 28%, the United Kingdom plus 52, and Spain plus 72. Strengthened by these results and considering all the product innovation we have in store, we are confident, very confident, of reaching our sales goals set for 2011 of over 165 vehicles sold. The numbers I just mentioned are clearly connected to the most recently launched Alfa Romeos, the Alfa Romeo Giulietta and the Alfa Romeo Meter. The Giulietta is providing that it can communicate and that it is attractive to a broad and varied audience. The pure Alfista on the one hand side who looks to Alfa Romeo for state-of-the-art technology as well as top-class road holding and driving pleasure as well as families, won over by the car's ability to offer an excellent response in daily use, thanks to exceptional comfort and habitability, in addition to the best safety features in its segment in the market. Launched two and a half years ago, the Mito has actually broadened the brand's boundaries, bringing us into new market segments where Alpha has never been before, and most importantly, bringing new customers into our showrooms some younger than usually um, have been. On both of these cars, we are continuing a progress of improving and updating the range designed to evolve and win over more new customers. 